How's the frost out on the pumpkin? Well, it is autumn, it's moving slowly into winter. That's not frost, but that pumpkin vine's just about come to its end. It's covered in mildew now. Doesn't matter because it's about to die, isn't it? But there is a nice pumpkin there. That's not frost, that's mildew. Is it powdery mildew? Anyway, that's a late pumpkin. It can be eaten in winter, can't it? I can make it into soup. I can. Delicious pumpkin soup. I'll be picking it soon. The nights are getting so cold now. Doesn't matter if it's powdery mildew or not, as long as it doesn't spread to the pumpkin. And it doesn't appear to have spread to the pumpkin. How's the frost out on the pumpkin? What is that pumpkin? It looks a bit like a Queensland blue or something, doesn't it? It's not a Japanese one, and it's not a golden nugget. And what else isn't it? It's not a, uh, it's not a butternut. I don't know what it is. It's not a triangle. It would have been grown from a supermarket seed when I was cutting up the vegetables. Here we are. Is that powdery mildew or something? Doesn't matter what it is. Do they pour milk on powdery mildew to get rid of it or something? Anyway, there's a lovely pumpkin. There's the frost on the pumpkin. Oh, it's very prickly. <laughs> this pumpkin is so prickly, it's jabbing me. All the big Japanese uh, pumpkins were given away to charity because they were having a special soup day where they made pumpkin soup for everybody. And I gave them all my giant pumpkins because there were too many for us. But since all those ten pumpkins were picked from this huge vine, there's still some, uh, a few l left. I'm going to be using them for winter, for me. Let's have a look at some of them. There's a good sized Japanese pumpkin just for home use, just for one or two people. It's a good size, it's not a giant one, but it's big enough for us. Isn't it pretty? It's a Japanese one. What are they called? Is it Kobachi or Hobachi? I forget now. Hibachi, I forget. I don't speak Japanese. Doesn't it have a beautiful skin? Look at it. It's gorgeous. Isn't it? Well, that one will be ripe because it's been that size for quite a while now. That one's bound to be ripe inside. It's, uh, it'll never get to giant size. It's what is it now? It's May. It's going to become cold from now on and the vine is going to be dying. It's almost winter, that one. It's all right for one person, isn't it? But it's not going to be huge. That would make a nice soup. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be completely ripe. Even an unripe, even an unripe pumpkin, yellowish with, with yellowish flesh, is still nice. Isn't it pretty? It's like a lantern or a genie's bottle. If it had a neck on it, it would be a genie's bottle. It would. It would. Could be uh, sliced up and used like zucchini in a stir fry, really. If it's still young and tender, it can be cooked like a stir, in a, like a zucchini, it can, can. This one's so small, it could be used like a courgette, couldn't it? It could. Like a zucchini, just chopped up in a stew or anything, or a stir fry. It's perfectly usable. Even that little one there, look. There's a little one, where is it? Just there. It's winter now, almost. It's never going to become a fully-fledged pumpkin. It's not. It could be used like a button squash. It could. Anyway, I've learned, haven't I, that uh, 
uh, pumpkin vine leaves can be used as, as food. They can be used as a green vegetable. Where's that little one? Where is it? Yes, there's another little button squash down there, isn't there? That could be used. But as I say, tender pumpkin leaves can be used as a green vegetable. That's handy to know. It is. Look at that. But back to the pumpkin. Back to the pumpkins. Here's another nice one, good enough for one or two people. It'll be ripe enough inside, can be baked, can't it? I'm lazy, I can microwave stuff and then sprinkle a bit of oil on it, olive oil or macadamia oil, and pretend that it was baked. If you microwave tenderly and add a bit of oil, it is not unlike uh, baked. Not identical, not as nice as baked, no, but somewhere in that direction if you're a lazy cook. Look at the beautiful pattern. Isn't it gorgeous? There's the centre of the universe. Look at the beautiful mottled mottling on that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Could be a genie's bottle. Could be. If it had a neck on it, it could be a genie's bottle. It's lovely. That'll be nice. Not too big. If I have huge pumpkins, I just can't use them all. They're just too big for one person. I'm the only one who eats pumpkin. I grew up eating pumpkin. People who don't grow up eating pumpkin often don't like pumpkin, do they? Pump with a P in the middle. Pumpkin. <laughs> listen to those parrots, listen. Isn't that one gorgeous? Oh, it's so cold to the touch too. Look, it's so cold. And it's greenish still, the skin's green. It hasn't, those blotches haven't turned white yet, so it's obviously not ripe yet inside, but it'll still make a nice soup or could be baked. It doesn't have to be absolutely ripe. It doesn't. And last but not least, another little small pumpkin, just right for one person. It's about two meals if you like pumpkin. Cut it in half at a time. It's a lovely size. They've been growing rather quickly, but they'll never make it to a huge adult size. They just won't. It's almost winter. And look at these little leaves that could be cooked. And there's our huge, huge pumpkin vine. All these pumpkins came from one vine. One huge vine. One huge, huge vine. One huge, huge vine. I got about ten large ones that I gave away. They were just too big. are coming to an end now until next year well spring spring down under is what we start planting out in September October they're dying off now look who's been watching me film pumpkins That's who's been watching me film pumpkins.
There we are. Say ah. Uh, say hi. Hear that noise in the background? That's a caged uh, parrot of the same species, a parakeet, isn't it? Indian ringneck. This one's free, but it, you can hear the one in the cage in the distance. Well, it's autumn and it's almost winter.